Hey guys, what's up? It's Chronic Sinks here today. We're actually gonna be doing the top eight episodes of Minecraft Stream Mode Season 1. So basically, worst the best, you know. Get on with it. So, oddly enough, coming in at number eight, we have episode six. I felt like episode six was really hyped, considering that most people thought that there would only be episode one to five. And then when six to eight come came in, people were super hyped for this, and I felt like it was kind of a disappointment. I don't despise this episode like I used to, because I because when I play it, I kind of enjoy it. But the reason why I think it's the worst out of others is just because it felt really cliche to me. Like, yes, it has some really cool stuff in it, like YouTubers, but I felt like this was all Scooby-Doo and too cliche. Now, that's not to say that, you know, Telltale made a bad choice. You know, I think they might have been able to do this a little bit better, but that's why it gets great. Now, number seven. For number seven, surprisingly enough, this is also another kind of a bad choice. We have episode eight. Now, with episode eight, I felt like it was a really cool concept. But the problem with this concept is... Why play mini games on here where you literally just press a couple of buttons and analog sticks in a certain direction once every like 16 years when you can literally go on Minecraft and almost play them fully or even Minecraft PC where you can do so much more. I felt like this was just really slow paced for a game for an episode dedicated to mini games, but I thought it did pass as a final episode for season one so that's why it gets number seven and not number eight now coming in at number six this one's also kind of a bad choice but in my opinion you know my my list my opinion you know i felt as number six had to actually go to episode one now do i have problems with episode one not really, apart from it being kind of boring, kind of a slow-paced episode. It, it, it does have to kind of be like that, just so you adapt to it quickly. But one part I really did not like about it is the fact when you're walking through Endercon, that just feels like you're spending like an hour there when you're not. But like, apart from that, it was perfect start for the series, and it was a good story overall for this episode but it does get number six now coming in at number five i think i actually made a reasonable you know reasonable um choice here we actually have episode five now with episode five this was the final episode of minecraft story mode we had no idea how they were actually gonna end this it's not the final anymore, but originally, remember the episodes just 1 to 5, as I mentioned when I'm talking about episode 6. Now, what a roast, okay. So, um, my, so the positives of this episode was, you know, it brought on the Portal series, where to some people, 1 to 5 is one series, and 5 to 8 is a different series. No, 1 to 5 is one series, and 6 to 8 is another series, but no, it's 1 to 4, then 5 to 8, whatever. Just getting past that. It ended, it, it did start up really well, but I felt like it just kind of dragged out in between the entire story and between the intro to it. Now, I, th I felt like this episode was kind of a good idea to start with, you know, with there being Sky Island. But it's pretty inaccurate since you can't even get gold on a sky island, let alone like blocks and blocks and blocks of iron. If you don't even know there's void below you. So that's why it comes in at number five. Now number four. I used I I used to probably think this episode would be around number six. But I'll be honest. This episode is a bit better than I used to think it was. It's episode 2. Now, with episode 2, I thought that this episode was a good continuation of episode 1. With you either going to Eligard or Magnus's place to come and get him to help you out with the Wither Storm. 
this episode definitely started it off pretty nice. In between then, it was a bit dragged out, but when they got to Soren's place, it, it ended up pretty well. That's basically the entire episode right there. But if I want to be specific, it'd take me more time to explain it. Whatever. You know, it's a nice episode. As I said, kind of drags a bit in the middle, but you know, all episodes have that problem. Anyway, now down to number three. Now, I actually really enjoyed this episode. This episode is a really cool concept. And properly introduces someone. For number three, we have episode seven. Now, with episode seven, it's just generally really fun to play. The cool concept where a computer meant to try helping everyone goes berserk is kind of bad. But... You know, it, the story worked out great. How it played out worked out great. It didn't really drag out too much, apart from the puzzle areas. I just like getting up and going. The start of it was pretty funny, and then I like how they had their bit of their disagreements against each other. I thought, you know, after all the stress, that was appropriate to put. So, congratulations, Telltale. This gets n number three. Now, number two. You know, I also used to kind of not like this episode too much, but... For number... Two? We have... Episode three. With episode three, it, it was something new. The episode felt longer than the last two, and that I found that as a good thing. It was fun non-stop, and... It, it was super cool, you know, Soren's kind of whacked out guy trying to train Enderman. And the fact that that worked out so well was really cool. And the cliffhanger they put at the end was absolutely perfect. Now, do I have any problems with this episode? Um, apart from the start being really boring and the intro is not that good. Like, by intro, I mean the start not actually where you're falling down in the grinder. Because that was great. But, you know, this episode is a tad bit boring at times. But apart from that, it gets number two. Now, if you guys did your math right, you already know what episode one is. And you know what? It's actually kind of surprising to some of you. Oh, my gosh. You know, let me just kind of add a bit of a build up. With this episode, lives will be lost. The gang will have to find a way to attack the storm. Chaos and destruction will be caused. And an adventure to the far lands is inevitable. Here, episode 4. Guys, episode 4 is easily the best episode in my eyes because of the way how how clever Telltale was when they, you know, made that way to kill the wither storm. And... It... it there's not too many problems I have with it. Apart from this, this episode kind of, it's either you love it or you hate it at some parts. And I felt like the maze and swap part I didn't like, but like everything else I absolutely loved. Um, one of the, the uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, um, Ruben does unfortunately pass away due to fall damage falling down the wither to sacrifice himself to save the world. Which is pretty difficult to handle sometimes. Dan TDM, you know I'm talking about you. Don't be ashamed of it. So like, this episode ended in a really good way. There was a way you could kind of, sort of, end it. You could choose what weapon you wanted. And when you put enchantment on different weapons, they each have a slightly different uh, camel. Like, I believe if you put, um, if you put, like, um, I believe the enchantment book on the pickaxe, it has kind of a gray-purplish color. And then, um, if you put it on a sword, I don't remember a sword, but a diamond hole is almost completely red. An axe, I cannot remember. Well, no, an axe is like yellow. Whatever, you guys get the point. It's just really nice to look at. So, this episode was awesome. And depending who you don't save in episode one, 
has amnesia in this. So if you say Petra, Gabriel will have amnesia. And if you say Gabriel, Petra will have amnesia. So I thought that how this episode works is pretty cool. I don't find there too much wrong with this episode. Sometimes the maze can be tedious. But if you know what you're doing, it's actually not half bad. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all eight of my opinions. These episodes were all cool, and if you guys just need a quick recap, here we go. Number eight was episode six. Number seven was episode eight. Number six was episode one. N number five was episode five. Number four was episode two. Number three was episode seven. Number two was episode three. And number one was episode four. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy that list, and be sure to comment down what you guys thought of this list and what your list would be. This was a hard list to make just because most of the episodes are equally cool, but all episodes have their flaws, some more than others. So anyway, peace out guys. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and comment, and share. All is appreciated. See ya.